Welcome to this short demonstration video on Sage 50 Cloud Pesto Partner. As a business owner, you may need specific processes to be automated, and Sage 50 Cloud Pesto Partner can take your financial system to the next level. Formulated with small to medium businesses in mind, the power of this product will ensure that your accounting needs are met with a host of add-on modules to cater to your business's every financial need. Some of the additional modules Available on this product include Bill of Materials, Debtors Manager, General Ledger Manager, Multi-Currency, Multi-Warehousing, Point of Sale, Project Tracker, Receipting, Advanced Reporting, Serial Number Tracking, as well as Time and Billing. This product offers the power and productivity of a trusted desktop solution and gives you everything you need to run your business wherever you are. Sage 50 Cloud Pastel Partner gives you the option to add up to a maximum of 20 users. You're able to create an unlimited number of companies and a maximum of 30 cash books. Let's have a quick walkthrough of the system to have a look at some of the functionality that's available. Once your database has been set up, a default general ledger account structure will be set up for you. Creating a new account is as simple as clicking the Add button, providing an account number on description, and choosing the relevant financial category associated with the account. You're able to create all your debtors and creditors accounts on the system as well and all the associated information with each debtor can be captured for ease of use. You can choose between the open item and balance forward processing methods. You can also send your statements as well as your invoices directly to each customer. You also have an integrated inventory system that allows you to create stock in various stores if you have the multi-store add-on module able to create up to 999 inventory categories and you can run various inventory reports per category. The inventory group will determine which general ledger account is debited and credited. You have your cost prices as well as your selling prices with up to 10 standard price lists. The processing of transactions take place on the process menu. Let's have a quick look at some of the documents that are available under the processing of customers. You're able to create a quotation, sales order, tax invoice. You can even process recurring tax invoices if you have recurring billing on a monthly basis. The recurring tax invoice function is extended even further with the use of the scheduled invoicing built-in module on this product you are able to set up specific schedules of when invoices can be generated based on business principles. You can set the recurring method up to six months, two months, whichever applies to your business. The processing of receipts and payments is made quite simple with the use of the bank manager module. The bank manager module will allow you to download a bank statement from your internet banking without you having to capture each transaction manually. You're able to allocate it to the various accounts and all the descriptions, the values automatically pull through from the downloaded transaction. If you prefer that Sage logs directly into your bank and draws the transactions without you having to go and download a bank statement, you can use the bank feeds function, which needs to be set up to the specific bank. And once you choose the relevant bank, you're able to then connect directly into the bank and draw the transactions through. Pastel has quite powerful reporting as its base function. It has the trial balance income statement, the balance sheet, as well as a cash movement report. It has various 
sales reports where you can run it by customer, by item, and you can actually see the GPs of each product. So on this report, you'd be able to see the total cost, the total selling price, as well as the GP value and the percentage GP for specific items sold to specific customers. But the real power in reporting comes to the Sage Intelligence Reporting module. I'm going to quickly show you a report that is used quite extensively called the Management Pack Report, which has these various options of running your income statement and balance sheet. Here's one that I generated, which is actual values running from period one all the way to period 12. This is something that accountants generally take quite a bit of time to create manually. But as you can see, these reports are all standard built into the Sage Intelligence reporting module. Some of the additional functionality that's available on this product includes renumbering of codes. You're able to delete inactive inventory items and customers and suppliers. So when you no longer require these codes, you're able to remove them from your system to make your system quite uh, slim and trim. If you're using the, the inventory system, you'd probably want to do a stock take every now and then. The count inventory function is built in to Sage 50 Pestle Partner. You're able to print a count sheet, enter the quantities calculated, print a variance report, and finalize your stock take. That brings us to the end of this demonstration video. Thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you again soon.